What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and next to me is Saigon Heat player Gary Forbes. Gary, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. First of all, man, I used to watch you when you played for the Nuggets <laughs> because Carmelo Anthony is my all-time favorite player. Uh, so I know that you play against Carmelo in practice all the time. So how was that experience of playing with some player like a cow as a as big as Carmelo Anthony back then? Uh, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. man. First ballot in my eyes, and uh, you know. Playing against him every day in practice, it uh, got me prepared for you know for the guys that I would have to guard in the NBA, and um, you know even now overseas, uh, you know playing against a bigger, stronger guy like that, uh, you know it was a great experience for me. So you play under George Carl too. Mm -hmm. So what was the most valuable lesson that you learned from a legendary coach? Oh man, he he, he actually let me be myself, which mm -hmm. was uh, one of the great things about being in Denver. Uh, mm -hmm. Honestly, I wish I would have stayed in Denver uh, for my entire career, but um, you know playing with him. Um, you know, I, I loved how we, you know, we pushed the pace. Um, our bench, our bench scoring was one of the top in the, in the NBA at the time with myself, Al Harrington, J.R. Smith, and Ty Lawson. So we were, we were really good. Talking about Al Harrington, and then you also play with Kenyon Martin. Not a lot of people can make it to the NBA. How was that lifestyle so with that kind of pattern? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, you know, me and Al are very good friends. Um, you know, I'm the godfather of one of his daughters. Um, you know, we, we, we created a, a, a close bond. You know, he's from New Jersey. I'm from New York. So, uh, you know, it was, it was just a great experience you know, playing with that, those group of guys. I played with a Hall of Fame coach, Hall of Fame players, and, uh, you know, we had a great year that year. So uh, I saw your picture. You played against Jason Kidd, Grant Hill, and also Kobe Bryant. So who was the toughest guy to guard in the NBA? So, to be honest, uh, Brandon, Brandon Roy was the toughest uh, matchup I've ever had to guard. Uh, you know, it was a long night for me uh, <laughs> guarding him, but you know, if, he, if, if Brandon Roy never got injured, uh, you know, he would have he would he would have been a, a great player, you know, throughout the years. I uh, know Portland Trailblazers, right? Yes, yes, sir. So yes, sir. you've been around the world. You play uh, overseas a lot. So what is the best thing about playing basketball overseas? Um, just, just playing basketball, man. Um, you know, it's it's not a job for me. It's something that I wanted to do. Um, you know, obviously my dream was to play in the NBA my entire career, but you know, playing basketball is still is still a great, great thing to do. And um, I'm able to travel the world and see different places. Uh, right now I'm in Vietnam, which is an amazing, amazing city um, in Saigon. And you know, we got a great group of guys, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this season. Um, you know, after being out for about almost two years, you know, a lot of people, you know, doubted, you know, counted me out, and you know, uh, Coach Kevin, uh, you know, gave me an opportunity, and I'm, I'm just, just amazed and thrilled for it. How's the life though in Saigon? It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Not, not many people think it's, uh, not many people know about it, but you know, Saigon is an amazing city. I'm loving it. I'm loving the weather. Uh, the people are nice. Everything is perfect. I know it's, it's, it's hot in Saigon, but it's really cold right now in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would rather be, I'm, I'm glad I'm right now in Saigon than, than New York right now. So, what do you like to do during your downtown, downtime in Saigon? Uh, so far, uh, I've been going out, the, the food is amazing in Saigon, I've been going to different restaurants. Uh, you know, I watch movies a lot, you know, I'm at home, I'm a, you know, I'm a Netflix guy, and uh, you know, just watch a lot of movies, and, and we're, we're usually in practice, uh, you know, most of the time, we lift, we lift weights in the morning, and uh, you know, practice at night, so most of our time is, is you know, concentrated on the season. Season gonna start for you guys on the third yeah. against Mano. Yeah. So do you do you have you been scouting the other teams because they've been playing? Uh, they they start early yeah, earlier yeah. than you guys. Yeah, they did. Um, I think our, our advantage is the fact that we we've, we've been able to see these uh, these teams and we'll be able to scout them. Not many te not many people will be able to scout us because we haven't played yet. Uh, so I think that's that's gonna be an advantage for us. But um, you know, these two games that we came out here in Indonesia was, it was a great test for us and. We we're able to get prepared for next week. So, last question: What is your expectation? Because you know, ABL is a tough competition. You see, they got OJ Mayo, also yeah. one of my favorite players from USD. Yeah, right. So, when you see the competition, what do you think about it? Uh, so it's a great league. It's going to be a great competition. But our goal is to win the championship, nothing less. I mean, I didn't fly across the country to you know come in third for fourth place. Uh, you know, our goal is to win the championship, and um, you know we have a great group of guys. You know, you know, with Sam and Christian, you know, former MVP, 
And, you know, our, our local players are, are, are amazing, as you've seen today. Uh, you know, they help, you know, carry the load for us today. So, um, you know, our goal is the championship, and, you know, we're, we're going to stick to that. Gary, good luck, man, Thank this you, season. Man. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Man, I used to watch you. Man, Denver Nuggets, man. I remember because I used to have you on my fam fantasy team, too. Wow, I hope I got you a lot of fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> man, thanks. Appreciate it. Right, right, right. Hey, Gary. So I'll see you around. And guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.